What's up everybody? A Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights and I'm in the middle of a sandstorm. I can't see much. It's clouding my visor. Things are crazy. I have no idea what's going on with my life. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Right as I was about to record the sandstorm thing hit and I thought that would be funny to do. Um, so in the last episode we ended with the hunt for tungsten still in full force, full swing. Um, I was running along, though, and I found this thing. So, I kind of wanted to show it because I'm going to tear it down. Because <laughs> I want to see what's on the inside here. Well, I think I'm going to tear it down. That might take a minute. Simple temple blocks. Um, you know what? Let me grab this pickaxe. Since that should expedite my diggery. Uh, and I probably will do some more off-camera mining because I actually wanted to get improved... Ooh, here we go. Improved armor and stuff. Um, and I'm concerned that's going to take too long. So, can I interact with this at all? No. I don't see anything beneath the boneyard stuff either. Embossed tombstone. The words honor a fallen avian. Huh. That's true. The avians always were the ones with the temple looking type stuff. So that, I guess, makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to continue my journey to the left here. And hunt for some tungsten. And if I find anything in the meantime, in between there, I will come back. Like this chest or that burning bird thing. Because, you know, stuff always seems to happen right as I'm about to go for a pause. Wow, you're actually a little bit of a piece of work, aren't you? Platinum pick? What the heck? This tool won't last, but I'll be able to dig pretty fast with it. Holy crap! Firebat drops a platinum pickaxe. What? I didn't see coming. Upgrade module. To upgrade ships. I want to get that working, too. To where we can upgrade our ship. Because I've actually got a couple of those modules. But I haven't been able to do anything with them yet. Hey! You got another platinum pick? Crap. Now, no fair being able to fly through the terrain now. That's... Cheater. Boom. Oh yeah, and that one just dropped seven pixels. I guess that other one was just rich or something. Or... I don't, I don't even know. Oh, you know what? That's the other thing I was going to test. In this mode, if we do the little ball thing... Nope. Still take fall damage. Alright. Mystery solved. That's right. Just get stuck where you are. That's right. Okay. So this is a thing. Ow! Where'd my weapon go? It's like a ghost cat cyclops thingy. It's scary. <laughs> not sure what to make of it. Oh, and I'm actually not sure. I can't hit it when it goes translucent. Well, uh, ain't that interesting. Oh, finally found a spot where my lights don't work. I guess I'm down far enough. I've been using the whole poke a hole in the wall to make a... A light trick. Okay. I need to actually get a... Um, not like the for show miner's helmet, but the actual miner's helmet. That gives me like a light. I guess I can't hurt those guys. Unless their head's sticking up. Ow! Ow! Thank you. 
Gotcha. Um, ooh, they drop living root. Okay. I forget what I needed that for, but I needed it for something. Yeah, see, like that, you can poke a hole in the wall and give yourself some light. But if you go too far down, then that doesn't always work like that. Ooh. Oh, we're right above some... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hardened carpus? Okay then. Hmm. Uh, can I make... I don't even know if I have what I need to make torches. I don't! I don't have anything to make torches with. Lovely. Um... I did find a couple of things, like I found a blueprint for something called, um, like the, I guess it's rainbow decorative stuff, like the rainbow table and some stuff like that. Boom! Boom! There's my flashlight. <laughs> Just launch grenades. Hey, it's working so far. Um, so yeah, I found a few things like that that were rainbow blueprint type things. Uh, I found a blueprint for a red paint gun, which is interesting because I already have the paint tool on my, or paint mode, on my multi-tool. So I'm not really sure what the paint gun does, unless it's actually like you can craft a paintball gun kind of thing, which would be hilarious and awesome. Get rid of that spike. Hardened carpus. Okay, I aggroed something down there. Um, in the interest of laziness, I'm just gonna dig down right here and go in through the wall. Or possibly go in through the ceiling, I guess. If I can actually dig through this. Smooth tomb brick. Eh, yellow. Whew. Whoa, 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 now. Uncool, bro. Uh, wrong button. That's the one I'm looking for. Not getting up my- oh, yeah, yeah, there. Okay. Whew! Controls! Boom! Can I fire? There we go. Yeah! Take that! What are those guys doing in an avian looking tomb? Ooh, there's a chest! Teklaki Skull Cleaver. 15 per swing rate, fire one. Eh, that's actually not better. I'll keep it because apparently I, I have n not used to being able to sell stuff. What does this come up as? Iron chest. Ooh. Really now. Okay, and this guy. So there's the door. Uh, whoops. Ooh, and more tungsten. Which I would definitely like to have more of. I probably have enough now to actually do something. I don't know what that might be. But I do probably have enough. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Is that a gate? Okay, we're definitely going down there. But this may take us down there without ever really having to do anything. Or maybe not. I guess not. Okay, this door will transport you to a challenge room that you may attempt to traverse. I applaud your intrepid disposition. What? We can do what now? Ow. Okay, 
Let's build ourselves a little bit of a doorway here. Is this silver? Oh, wrong way. Silver. That's fine. That's tungsten, I think. Looks more jagged. Silver? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ooh, gold. There's gold. There's gold in them there. Hills or lakes. Oh, that's oil! Ooh, I need to get some of this. I, I need oil because I need oil in order to build the lamp thing that I was talking about that lets us do the mining helmet, which is something I really want so that I would never have to really carry torches around or anything. Then I have no idea how much oil I'm supposed to need, so... You know... I mean, all of it seems about right. Just saying. There's actually... I didn't realize... I don't know if they've changed this since the game came out into full release or not, but I didn't realize how much of the ore you can find in the walls. I don't remember that ever being a thing. Okay. Um... I don't know about this man. Oh, and I, yeah, I still have tons of this stuff. This thorn fruit. Tons of it. Just crap loads. Ooh, you're not nice. Put that right next to a door. How dare you? Whoops. Crap. I can't tell if that's silver. Ah, crap. I was hoping I didn't do that. Come on. Wake up. Boom. Um, I can't tell if that's... I don't think that's tungsten, which is really all I'm looking for at the moment. Fairly sure, not 100% positive, but I'm fairly sure I've got enough oil for now. I don't know what I ended up tracking in that app, but last time I checked it was like 200 and something. So I think we're good on oil. Uh, okay. We'll eat that. Let's bandage ourselves up. And... Challenge portal. Unstable pocket dimension. YOLO! <laughs> wow, this reminds me of the good old Mario days, man. Why do I feel like that's gonna blast me? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, now I don't see, like, a timer or anything. Wow, no. You know what that takes me back to? Star Wars. The NES Star Wars. I forget what level it was, but they had those beam things that drove me nuts. Oh, there's a terminal. Okay. I see. Light. Okay. So I'm gonna want to go from there to there. I'm thinking. Woo! Okay, okay, we, we got this, we got this. We can do this. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Beam! Wee! <laughs> Alright. I wonder if these lamps are like checkpoints at all. That would be kind of cool. Oh, that was bad. It wore off. Oh, this is awesome! When did they add this to this game? Wait a minute, why did I not get lighter? Or am I? I must be, because I'm taking fall damage. Oh, that's not cool! Crap. Alright, let's bandage up. That's so awesome! Oh, and we get a chest at the end! Calyx 
Poly Mallet. 21.9. Oh, yeah. Let's go with that. 21.9. What was the one I just replaced it with? It's one that had uppercut. There it is. 21 point. Okay, so it's, it's improved. Health 1 Augment. EPP Augment. An EPP module that boosts your total health a little. Equipped to EPP with right click. What is the EPP thing? You've obtained an augment. These modules can provide a wide range of benefits. Install them to an Enviro Protection Pack with a right click. Is that like this thing? That's kind of cool. Oh, can I take this? No. Dang it. Exit. Well, that was totally awesome, and I did not know such a thing existed. That's... That's crazy. And so cool. Like I said, this, those are the kinds of things that I have no experience with, because I didn't know they were adding some of those types of things into the game. But I'm ecstatic that they did. That's awesome. Okay, now we have a problem. Ha <laughs> ha! Problem solved. Ooh, and I can portal out from here. Sweetness. Alright. So there's a couple things I want to do. First off, I need to smelt up all my stuff. But after that, I need to find out how to use the upgrades on my ship. Um, how much tungsten we have and what we can make with it. 22 bars! Yes! Yes! Sweet. That's more than enough to do something. Ship thrusters are online. FTL drive is online. Ship teleportation system functioning. The entire universe is accessible. But where do I upgrade? You're the only registered crew member recruiting additional crew. We still have the Dreadwing thing, but I want to get tungsten armor and stuff before I do that. But where do I upgrade my ship from? I don't see any other consoles that I can plug into. Unless I go talk to somebody on the outpost, perhaps. Maybe that's the thing. I definitely need more storage stuff, though. Like, that's... that's gotta go. <laughs> like, I have no storage for anything. And I don't think I have enough to do... Oh, I do! Enable wiring mode. That's... 12, that's 8, and that's 6. Optics increase effective range by 2. So I'll hold on to those for now. Upgrade 2 tungsten bars. Or 6 glass silver. Okay. Oh, we need titanium for that. That's not going to happen. Okay, so I need 10 for the armor. 6, so that's 16. And 4, so that's 20. Right, right on the money with that. Um, hammer. I don't see an, a sword. I only see an axe. Which requires three, so I'm one off from being able to make a tungsten weapon. Oh, but I could make that. No, mm, that's tempting. Because this is the EPP thing that they were talking about, so I could upgrade my health with that, too. Alright, tell you what we're going to do. I need one, two, three wool. Um, so let's... Cotton fiber. Oh! Whoops. Alright. That didn't give me a cotton fiber. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I need some cotton in order to make some stuffs. Hmm. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do some inventory management, some stuff like that. Clean up this place a little bit. Um, in fact, though, before we do that, let me go to the teleporter because i I got to find out how to upgrade my ship. I really do. So I'm going to go back to the shipyard guy 
because I need more room. I don't want to build a big base on a planet right now because I want to be able to take all my stuff with me. Um, totally legit pirate. I love that. Okay, this is repair. Oh, and we can sell some stuff too. A crucial component of vehicle repair, but how do I upgrade? I may, I may take to the wiki for this because um, it seems like something that I've yet to find out. And I don't know, I mean, technically speaking, they're probably going to tell me at some point along the quest line, but I'd really just like to know. What about you? Do you do anything important like that? Oh, that's right, you can buy stuff. <gasps> alright, 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 alright. How many tungsten can I buy? Four. Totally gonna do that. We're gonna buy some tungsten. And I'm gonna cut it out, but I'm gonna go through and sell some stuff. And like magic, we have money! Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I went through and cleaned out a lot of my weapons and things like that. Um, so that I would have more room. Uh, we already talked to this guy. Um, so as far as the upgrades go, I've seen two different things, both of which were look at what in the world are you? I didn't care what you look like as long as you are you strong of heart. That is like a night llama thing that is hilarious. Um, so I've read that as you progress through the story, you get to where this guy will give you quests, totally legit private business, um, to upgrade your ship, but you require, I don't know if you have to get them first and then the missions come, or if you get missions to pick up them, but you have to get crew in order to upgrade your ship, but I've also read that after you fight with Dreadwing, this guy down here, for a fee and a module upgrade might allow you to uh, possibly... Maybe it's that one right there after the Dreadwing fight, I don't know. But he'll allow you to eventually go um, and upgrade it without the crew, I guess. I wanted to see if there's any new recipe things. Ooh, I can make chocolate. Just objectively the best thing ever. <laughs> Thorn juice. More thorn than juice. I don't know what to make of that. We're gonna make five of these because I don't know what they do. So that'll be good. Um, I am gonna head back to the ship. Oh, that's right. I still need cotton. Poo. Isn't there a thing like bone meal or something? All right, anyways, so I'm going to... Oh, wait, while we're here, let's look at the minor things. So what do I need? I need iron, oil, which we have plenty of, and torch. Um, and then you can take the lantern with... So I need one more iron, and then I need five more iron. So I need six. So if I take six iron... Okay, so nine total. Three, five, and then, well, plus what I have. So three, five, and one. Um, and then I need wood and the lantern. We'll make the lantern. And then you take woven fabrics. Okay. And then that makes the mining helmet. A miner's hat has a light on it. Now, here's the only thing. I don't know if I can put that in this slot and still get... Because this does seven armor, so it would be a lot better than that. So I don't know if I still get the light or not out of it. Because I might want to put it back here. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me... Yeah, I've got to do some cleanup here, man. I have got to do some inventory management. So while this cotton up here is growing, I'm going to do some clean out stuff. And might go back and sell some things, possibly. Oh, wait, there's iron. I got plenty of iron. Okay. So I have iron. Uh, whoops. I have to have wood. Did I put it in here? 
I know I, yeah, there's wood. Okay, so we've got that. More module upgrades, more copper, more silver. I don't know why I took ore. Oh, I was afraid of losing it. That's right. I didn't remember what dropped when I fought Dreadwing. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Tech cards. I didn't even think about that. I've got a bunch of those. How many do I have? Like five of those. I probably could upgrade my tech. Uh, tomb is anonymous, engraved with the image of its occupant. That's creepy. Venom sample and all this, all of these weapons and things. I could probably go back and sell too. Um, so yeah, I need to do some inventory management at some point real soon. Uh, but we can make the lantern, so we'll craft that. And then I can make the lantern on a stick, so we'll craft that. And then I'm just missing... Oh, poo! Dang it. I didn't realize it was the lantern, not the stick. Dang it. Oh well. So make that. Now I need fabric, which I think is plant fiber. Okay, and now I go through here, and we'll make one of these. Alright, now, moment of truth. If I put you here, I don't see any light going on. I still don't see a light going on. Alright, let's head down to the planet and see what, what's what about this mining helmet thingy mabobber. Is it a... I wonder if it's like a button that I have to turn on. This doesn't look creepy at all. What the... Alright, hold on. Um... Jeez, a lot going on here. What is that? Thorns. Oh! So it gives you thorn damage. Well, that's kind of cool. Alright, hold on. Um... Got that squared away. Now give me my helmet back, because I don't know... Nope. Leave that there. Uh, what is going on with this thing? Oh, jeez! Holy crud! Um... Okay. Okay. Uh... He's... He's not a happy camper. Oh, he's dying quick. So he hits hard. Ah. <laughs> that was funny. It blew up over there. Oh, I know. Let's do that. Boom! What in the world was that thing? Wait, what, I, what can I help you with today? Oh, it's a shop owner. Okay. Village bench tracker helm. This helm is light and airy, perfect for tracking. Huh! 13.5. 30% damage. 6 and 6. I do have enough to buy that. What is this? It's an avian... Is that an avian or a chicken? A oh, weather vane. Decorative. Okay. Yeah, sure. What the heck was that thing? It had an arrow above its head like it was part of a quest. Okay, so now that we can see what's going on, that's no different. That is. Okay, so it has to be... Dang it, it has to be in the armor slot. I hate that. Because that does more than that. And actually, this one, where to go, that I just bought, does more than that one does. So that's unfortunate, because... I mean, right now I can put that one on, which actually does more. But that kind of stinks because I don't want to take my helmet off most of the time to do anything. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Okay, so I have zero idea what that was about. Oh, here we go. 
Florin has heard talk of a deadly tin tick near the old stone pillars east from here. Florin thinks this sounds like a good hunt. If you are a worthy hunter, you should go find him. Find and stab it. Okay. So we're going to track this one. Kill the... I did. Oh, return to... Yeah, okay. So we're going to do that because I'm waiting on the cotton to grow anyway. So let's go see what he has to say. Oh, did you see that? Jump shot. What now? And I got a new weapon thing, I think. From something. Yeah, that's new. I don't remember where I got it from, but... They're stuck, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so let's so let's go see if we can find oh there he is. Just quick. You hunted the tin tick. Florin is surprised at your skills. Okay, so what did that give me? Ooh. Calyx Flux Slayer. Two-handed shot a uh, grenade launcher. Okay. It's a two-handed grenade launcher. Oh, grenade launcher. Energy per shot 36, 17 damage. Okay. That is better. So I tell you what, we're going to put that, I think. Well, yeah, let's do that. And then this is going to be our heavy hitting one, I guess. Uh, I'm fairly certain that we did all of the... Oh, there's one. I was going to say the quest. Florin needs to look vicious to stand out from other huntress hunters. Florin has planned. First, Florin need trust of Jiffle. Florin will share pretend personal secret with them. Deliver this note to them for Florin. Okay. I mean, I'm still waiting on crops to grow, so why the heck not? Deliver message. We're working on it. Oh, they've got another quest for us. Florin wants to be more recognizable hunter. Can you help Florin look strong? To begin, Florin needs Amacha's friendship. Here is note. Here's a note Florin wants you to deliver to Amacha to make friends. Don't read it yourself or Florin will stab you. I love them. They're hilarious. Take this reply. Take this reply. Okay, I can do that. Did I already get this? Of course I did, because I'm a big looter. Success is now trusting, confident this will prove useful. What? Didn't give me anything? Florin wants to be more recognizable. Hunter, can you help? Time to find four copper. It's very important. Yeah, sure it is. Wait, do I not have four copper? Oh, I smelted them all up, didn't I? Yep. Poo. Should have just left it in the ore form until I needed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, we're going to need three red petal. They weren't... They were meant to be delivered by traveling merchant Cosmo, but Florin thinks he got lost around the old stone pillar east from here. Could you take Florin there so Florin can find Cosmo and retrieve the stuffs? Sure. I find it interesting, he wants to be more serious, or be taken more seriously or something. Anyone else notice that his name kind of rhymes with wannabe? Wahabi, just saying. Oh, what is this? I feel like we have stumbled across the plot. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's... What can I help you with today? Do you have floor and delivery? Here's your goods. Enjoy. These next part of my plan. Next, Florin needs to make a trade with traveling merchant Sitlul. Florin going to give three red petals to get 24 plant fiber. The merchant arrives near the old Sony some time ago. Could you, yep, we're right there. She's right there, dude. <laughs> now we, uh, you have the crafting ingredients. We need to make six woven fabric. Ugh, fine, I'll be right back. 
what this has to do with being a better hunter. What did they say? Six? Alright, and the cotton's grown. It always puts that one out there, I don't know why. Okay, uh, first thing, let's get this growing again. And we're going to make, we can make two, okay. Now here's an interesting one. We need to compare the helmet um, with what I have. So this is 30, 30, uh, they're identical. The scavenger's helmet comes with augmented vision though. I don't know what that means or if it's just for, for show or not, but this is basically identical to what I have, so I don't want to make that. Um, instead, I'm just going to make the armor and the, the pants, and that way I have enough that I can basically do a full armor that way in terms of my stats. Um, now I could make... Ooh, yeah, we need to make this thing. So glass... Uh, smelt. I definitely have sand now. And I just made the stick thing too. Nah, go figure. Alright. You've obtained an enviro protection pack. These specialized devices enable the user to survive in otherwise inhospitable environments. You can also enhance EPPs with augments, which we have one of. Uh, okay, so how am I equipped to with right click? Okay, oh, okay, then I see it. Health one. All right, sweet. Scouter, scavenger, wait, scouter, tracker. Oh, okay, so scavenger 20%. Not, yeah, okay, so that's the improved. And since I'm not running low on inventory space, we can take all that off now. Um, we'll throw it in here somewhere. Because I don't really need it. I'll actually put that down there. We're going to put the backpack one up there. Okay. So, like I said, I need to go through and clean all that out at some point. Because it looks nasty. Um, what else can I make with tungsten? That's a one-handed. It does 12.8 at one damage, or one fire rate. That's not bad. I, that might be useful, because some of this stuff hits harder, but it's not one-handed. I don't know. The two-handed does pretty good, but I've actually got a better two-handed weapon. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Can I use it to upgrade anything? Tungsten, coal, and glass, so I could upgrade the furnace, though I don't know if it really needs to be upgraded. Definitely do not have that, whatever that was. Tungsten, glass, and silver. Ah, we're going to upgrade this, because that's my inventor's table to make new machines. So, how many glass did I need? Ten. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. All right. And after we read through what that upgrade gives us, then I will probably go back, finish this quest, and we'll move on. Ooh! Alright, so we had the animal apothecary. The apothecary is used to produce healing items and medicine. Timber, empty bottle, torch, easy. Fossil station, used to make fossil excavation tools and display cases. Or display cases. Tungsten I'm out of. Timber cobble, the rest is fine. Kitchen counter. Used to produce wholesome foods with a variety of effects. Boom. That's what I need. Okay, so that is timber. Is all I really need for that. Refinery used to produce raw pixels from ores. Okay, that's interesting. They changed that to ore. It's not just um, any item anymore now. That probably got spammed too much. Okay, so... The apothecary, I don't have everything that I need, but it can totally do it. The problem, again, is room. I have no space to put any of this stuff. Um, I'm going to have to start like picking up 
different things in order to use them or not have a f I, I think I need food though I feel like that's kind of a necessity um, so yeah let's go down here and we'll wrap this episode up with the completion of our current quest or at least I hope it's the completion he better not tell me I need to do something else oh almost come here now from behind him. Six woman fabric will be useful as we're not done. All that's left is to take six woven fabric to Jiffle so they can make Florence something to wear. Okay. That we can do. Oh, oh, a bug. Aha! Sun skipper bug. I have no idea what that is. Um the label reads, this pretty bug loves sunshine. I have no idea how the bug thing works yet. It's kind of bugging me that I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on. Jeffel! Come on, Jeffel! I need to give you stuff. Open the door. Jeffel! You brought Florin materials, Florin craft something, parcel for a hobby. I'm torn. I don't know if I want to call him wannabe, because it's like one letter away from wannabe. Or do I want to call him wasabi? That's the, I, I can't figure out which would be funnier. But yeah, so there's definitely, some, is that a bug technically that I can, oh geez. All right. Ow. Whoa, that's not a grenade launcher, that's a shotgun. I think. It totally says, oh, special is grenade launcher. Oh, I'm a derp. Okay, totally did not realize that the type is up above or under the, I mean, I realized that I wasn't paying attention. So it's a shotgun primarily. Oh, and then it's a grenade launcher. Well, I'll be reprogrammed with a rivet ruler. That's amazing. Doesn't Florin look vicious now? Thanks for your help. Yeah, just downright scary there, dude. Yay, what is that? Serene bed. Serene bed. An exceptionally comfortable serene bed. Well, what do you know? <laughs> oh, man. All right. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode here today. But we've got set up to do some pretty cool stuff. Um, we have a apparatus now that we can go into moons and non-atmospheric planets. Uh, we got our tungsten armor, or at least the equivalent. I didn't make the helmet, but it'll do the same kind of resistance. Pretty decent weapons going on, so I think next episode we'll probably tackle Dreadwing and see if that unlocks ship upgrades, and then we can use modules to make some more room here. I think that's the plan. Uh, so we're going to wrap things up for today. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.